in the last lecture we learned how to create and use a component now when we create a component in order to use it we use its selector like an HTML element and wherever we use the selector of a component like an HTML element there some HTML gets rendered and that HTML is called as the view template of that component so basically the view template of a component is a form of HTML that tells angular how to render a component in the last lecture when we created this header component there we are specifying a selector called app header and then we are using this selector in our app component.html file and we are using it like an HTML element so when we are using it like this in place of this when the angular application will run in place of this it has to render some HTML and we are specifying that HTML using this template property so in place of this app header this s3 element will be rendered so if i go to the web page there you can see that s3 element has been rendered so basically we are specifying the view template of this header component using this template property now we can use this template property when we have very few lines of html for example here we have only one line of html we have only s3 element here but if we want to have a lot of html code then specifying it here is a bit cumbersome for example, let's say I also want to have a paragraph element and in that paragraph element, let me go ahead and let me write some text. Then if I also want to have another paragraph, then again, I will add it here inside this single quotes. So in this way, this HTML will become a little bit messy, right? We can use this template property whenever we have very few lines of HTML. For example, let's say we have only two or three lines of HTML. In that case, using this template property is okay because in that case, two or three lines of HTML will not make it messy. But if we have more lines of HTML, then instead of using this template, we can use another property called as template URL. So using this template URL also, we can create a view template for the component. But when we use this template URL, there we don't assign any HTML. There, we need to specify the path of an HTML file. And the path of this HTML file can be any HTML file. So here, we need to now specify the path of the HTML file, which we want to render whenever this selector is used in our Angular application. For that, inside this header folder, let's go ahead and let's create a new file. Again, the file name should be the component name. In this case, the component name is header dot component and then the file extension. Here, we are going to create an HTML file. So the file extension will be HTML. Okay, and now, in our header component.ts for this template URL, let's specify the path of this header component.html. So it is in the current directory, and in there we have header.component.html file. Okay, so here we are specifying the path of the HTML file which should be rendered wherever we are using this app header selector. Now, in this header component.html, we can write some HTML. In order to save some time, I have already created some HTML. So, let me copy this HTML from here. Let's go back to VS Code and there, let's paste it. So, now, wherever we will use this app header, like an HTML element, there, the content of this header component.html will be rendered. So, if I save the changes now and if we go to the web page, there you see some HTML has been rendered here. Now this HTML is not styled. That's why it looks like this, but we are going to style it in our next lecture. But as you can see, in place of this app header, now the HTML content of header component.html is being rendered. Okay, so there are two ways to specify a view template for your component class either by using template URL property like we are doing here. In that case, to this template URL property, we need to assign the path of the HTML file which we want to use as the view template. Or we can also use template property. In that case, to that template property, we assign the HTML as string. Now, when we use template property for creating the view template, there are some disadvantages there. First of all, if we use template property for creating the view template of our component, in that case, we are mixing the HTML and TypeScript code, which makes the code less maintainable. 
because in the same TypeScript file, we have a TypeScript class and there only we are also writing some HTML code. So basically we are mixing the HTML and TypeScript code and it makes the code less maintainable. Then since HTML is written as a string, so to the template property, we assign a string and inside that string, we write the HTML code, right? So if there is some error there, let's say we have missed some closing tag for an element or something like that, we will not come to know about it during the compilation time. We will only come to know about it during runtime. So that is another big disadvantage here. And also, if the number of lines of HTML code is huge, it will make the code messy and non-maintainable. That's why I always prefer to use template URL property for creating the view template for my components. Even though the HTML code is going to be maybe one or two lines of code, but still I prefer template URL because in that way, I am separating my HTML code from my TypeScript code. All right, so in this lecture, we learned what is a view template and how to create a view template for a component. We learned about two ways. We can either use template property of the at component decorator, or we can use template URL property for creating a view template. This is all from this lecture. If you have any questions, then feel free to ask it. In the next lecture, let's learn how we can style the view template of our component.